Leo and welcome to your horoscope for 2020. It's really nice to be with you today. What I want to do with this video is to give you a really uh, a roadmap in terms of what you can expect in the year. Of course I can't go into every day but I want to give you the key themes that you can invest your energy into because it's likely to succeed and I can show you what areas aren't going to be so great in 2020. So I just want to give you some info so that you don't go in blind and you feel a little bit prepared and you know what you're doing going into 2020, okay? On the 10th of January 2020, we have the first eclipse of the year. It's a lunar eclipse, full moon in Cancer. And it's on the North Node in your 12th house. An eclipse is interrupted, either a new moon or a full moon, and I'll make separate videos on this, but the important thing is that it happens in your 12th house of spirituality and spiritual strength. So you're going to really be in touch with your higher self for the first six months of 2020 without trying. So you have unbelievable emotional, spiritual, intellectual, and physical strength because of the mind-spirit-body connection. If you are a Leo who's been meditating, 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 trying to connect with something bigger, but you never get anywhere, try the first six months here, six months of 2020. The universe wants to connect with you. It makes it easy for you and it wants to take care of you. Cradle you in its arm like a little baby. <laughs> On the 12th of January, Saturn and Pluto conjunct each other and that happens once every 34 years. So it's important. And it happens in your sixth house of work, your routine and your body. So Pluto is the phoenix rising from the ashes, transformation and change. Saturn is solidity and structure. 22 is the master number of the builder and Capricorn is the sign of the worker. So you can really transform your working life or your body, you can transform your body or your daily routine into something that you love and adore and that is lucky for you. Jupiter is also in there providing good luck at 9 degrees via your spiritual senses. So listen to your spidey senses here in 2020 because they're going to tell you what to do, what changes to make. Don't dismiss them. So the year starts off with you totally being able to make changes to your working life and your daily routine and even your body. Then we move on to the 4th of April. These are key dates, okay? The 4th of April, the 30th of June and the 12th of November. That's when Jupiter and Pluto conjunct. Jupiter is good luck and good fortune. Pluto is transformation and change. When they hit on those three key dates, those are amazing opportunities for you to really rise from the ashes when it comes to your work, your daily routine, or your physical body. So there are these three major hits of good luck and transformation coming into your life. Use those if you're not entirely satisfied with your daily routine or existence. Moving forward to the 13th of May, Ooh, I've done something wrong. Excuse me. Oop. 13th of May, we have got Venus, the planet of love and beauty, going into retrograde until the 25th of June. Now, if you have a wedding or the launch of a new business planned, if you can reschedule at all, then please do, because starting anything that you love or starting new things during a Venus retrograde is not a good idea. When Venus is in retrograde, you see everything 180 than you would see it otherwise. Everything is unclear and fuzzy. I had that huge drama with Daniel in 2017 during a Venus retrograde, remember? And I was heartbroken. It's a mess. So try not to start new relationships, new businesses, and if you can, reschedule things that are supposed to be joyous and full of love. On the 5th of June, we've got this next lot of eclipses now because the six months are over. 
So on the 5th of June, we have a lunar eclipse in Sagittarius. And that happens in your... It's a full moon, but it's an eclipse, so it lasts for six months. It's in your fifth house of relationships. So you're able to really now effortlessly and easily discover the beauty in other people and relationships are just, you're going to bump into people along the way without even trying. So now, first half of the year, you've totally been blessed with feeling yourself and being able to take practical action in your physical life, work, health, daily routine. And now the second half of the year, you're working in a way that you love, you're happier, you raise your vibration, and now all of the great lovers come in. If you're in a relationship already, expect it to be much easier and happier in 2020. For you, Leo, you're really blessed in that department now, and it lasts until the end of the year. On the 21st of June, we have a solar eclipse new moon in Cancer. And that happens in your 12th house. So more cancer energy is being pulled into your house of spirit and spirituality. And you're able to communicate with your higher self more. And you allow it to see you. It, that the barrier has been broken. And you're able to let yourself be taken care of spiritually. That's a big theme. And because you feel so taken care of, you're loved. And that's where everything grows out of, that sense of I am loved. Therefore, I can make changes to my body. Therefore, I can make changes to my work. Because I'm worth it. You really feel worth it in 2020. So any Leos with low self-esteem, I know such things do exist. Um, you guys, it's your turn to come out of your shell, especially with the second half of the year. On the 5th of July, we have a lunar eclipse. Full moon in Capricorn, and that again happens in your sixth house. So even more chances to make changes to your daily routine, physical body and health. That is the one area that's going to be blessed all year. I'm smiling because I'm happy for you. So that energy really, really continues. For, so relationships, work, daily routine and your body, it continues until the 30th of November. On the 30th of November, we've got six eclipses this year, okay? We have a lunar eclipse full moon in Gemini. And that, let me just check where that happens for you, my dear Leo. I've got the chart in front of me here live so I can, I can look at it. So that, on the 30th, happens in your... 11th house and the moon is in Gemini so you're really going to be showered with communicative energy so you're going to find that you're able to articulate yourself much more easily now from November until April 2021 on the 14th of December we have another eclipse we have a total solar eclipse it's a new moon in Sagittarius it happens in your fifth house of relationships and going through until April 2021 now, you're going to just let go of that sense of I need to chase people, I need to find someone. Let them come to you. It's just releasing that. Finally, on the 21st of December, something really important happens. It's called the Great Conjunction and it only happens once every 20 years. It happened in 2001 when we had 9-11, 1981 when we had the birth of HIV AIDS. It's when, the, when these two meet, the luck planet and the structure planet, they test the structures of humanity, either in a physical way, in our daily routine, or in our work, or in our society, the way we think. I've meditated on this so much. First I got our society changes because of AI, then I got um, because we become more humanitarian and there's a back backlash to all the politics, so people enter this new era of enlightenment or um, then I got um, climate change but none of those really seem right let's leave it until December 20, 2020 to April 2021 because that's when the great conjunction is going to happen and maybe we'll have more knowledge of it then but it is 
a real shift in the era. So it's like every 20 years we start a new era. Like think back 1980 to 2000, that was a whole thing. 2000 to 2020 has been a whole thing. <laughs> Great insight, wonderful. <laughs> but you know, uh, so to recap, the themes here are to really feel yourself, to make the changes, to be confident, to allow love in and to just love yourself and to come out of your shell. Dear shy Leo, I'm sending you loads and loads of love. If you would like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via the website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading. In my personal readings, I use astrology, tarot, numerology. I draw up your astrology chart by using your place of birth, date of birth, and time of birth. If you don't have the time of birth, then order a rectification with me. That's the process where I work out the time of birth. And then I can draw up your chart. That is amazing. It's a blueprint of your soul. I can see where you've been in past lifetimes, what your life purpose is now, what you're vocationally meant to do, love, money, relationships, romance, travel, where to live. Um, if you have questions about compatibility with a partner, I can answer any of those questions. So if you would like a private reading with me, head over to Gregory Scott. If you like the video, then please click subscribe and share the video online if you're feeling generous. Um, check out some of my other videos as well. I do daily tarot readings, I do weekly horoscopes, and I do lots and lots of other things. So check out some of those. Have a wonderful 2020. I'm sending you loads and loads of kisses, and all the best.